Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome back guys to a brand new Knights and Dragons video. Today guys, we're doing a catch up video on my main account, the one that you guys see every so often in some of our epic fusion frenzies. And I did recently do a main account video a couple of months ago and I thought I would catch you guys up on it. As I do, you can see what my progress has been. This is my account that I actually spend real money on, so obviously it progresses a lot different to the Let's Play account. Hey yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Let me know how, how your account is going. And uh, let's get right into today's video. Let's look at the most important thing, which is always my knights. Let's go on to my top six knights that I've got here. So uh, as you can see, I own a third Shadow Forge now. So a couple of videos back, I got myself the Earth Shadow Forge. And just only maybe a week ago, I finished the Air Shadow Forge. So I've now got it there. I'm still leveling it up though. It's not ascended yet. Uh, but this is my six at the moment. So I've got the Agnize offering. I've got the Sylvanas gem blade. Is that what it is? The Sylva the Sylvanas stone mail. I got myself this Christmas one, which I still use. The Hi High Lion Sleet Lobes, Hill Lion. Uh, this bad boy, the Alicorn Aegis, which is from a top 10 run that I did with my guild. My latest Shadow Forge, which is only level 57, so it's got a lot of growing to go. And uh, then this bad boy here, which is from a top 15 push that turned into a top 10 push with one of my old guilds, uh, which is the Excavator's Curious, or Curious, or however you say it. Uh, but yeah, that is our top 6 for now. The uh, the Earth Earth Shadow Forge that I have here is 8 of 10. It's not quite finished there. And uh, this bad boy on my main account, the Agnize Offering, is 10 of 10. It is the first Shadow Forge that I finished leveling up. So those are my 6 knights at the moment. We are going to scro scroll through all of our armors now, just so you guys can see anything new that I have. So I'm here in my three Shadow Forges, as you can see. And uh, then we go further along, you can see my Earth Spirit, my Fire Air, my uh, Air Water. And then I also have the Billowing Smoke Mail, the Carnivorous Battle Hide, the Spiked Thrash Robes, which I got recently. I don't know if I had them last video. I've got that one from a top 10 as well. Got some older armors here that I've owned for quite a while. Very old armors, very, very old. I got the Stellar Stone Shield here, which I did get a while ago uh, along with my mini. And then just some other ones from doing like random uh, top 10s and top 15s. Then the other uh, Garb of the Undying that I fused the other day. And a new Witch Doctors from the top 30, which you guys would have already heard about in my last Let's Play episode. Then Epics, but really nobody cares about Epics anymore. So yeah guys, this is my top 6 for now. Uh, I'm very happy to finally have some Shadow Forges on my team. I haven't got any of the top Shadow Forges yet, but I don't really open chests that much. Um, it's quite rare for me to open chests, so that's how those things are going there. I got a decent amount of epic jewelry building up, obviously, from when I do open the step chests. They give you that guaranteed jewelry. Uh, I've only got one 4-star pet, so if we actually go into my pets, you guys will be able to see here that I have like a couple of 3-stars. I've got this one four star here. It's mainly three stars and then just junk after that. But uh, I'm not, I'm very, I've fallen quite behind in the pet department. Um, I didn't do a lot of pet grinding when it was available. And I don't really open the pet chest ever. So it's probably something I should look to rectify uh, very, very soon. I'll show you guys my current lineup for the arena. This is not all my regular lineup is. This is simply what it is right now because I was in a fight. I usually have, where are we looking? So we want to go here, we want to put this bad boy here with that attack ring and where is my amulet that I usually put with it? Is it that one? There's no way it's that one. Oh no, it is that one. Dang, I haven't even leveled up this all the way. So I usually have that guy first, that guy, and then this bad boy here. Uh, and then we go to the next one and I usually just chuck this sky breeze on for the critical and because it puts my last guy over 5k 5k which is very nice so that's kind of what I have set up on the arena usually you know obviously it changes during wars and whatnot depending on who we are fighting that's my regular setup let's go over here into the smithy have a look at how I'm going with the other shadow forges I'm very hopeful that I will finish the uh, the standard five shadow forge set so, um, the most recent raid gave me two more of the orbs to get the Spirit Spirit Shadow Forge. So, I'm really, really hoping that, and I'm very worried that I won't be getting this water one that I'm about to show you guys. But, uh, as you can see, we getting, here we go. So, we have the Erebus Ward needs five more of the moons, and I'm very worried that they're going to stop providing the moons very soon. They've got, like, the last Erebus chest out at the moment. 
uh, which is a little bit concerning for me. And then the Aquins Void is the final one that I'll need to get like the five base set, the first, you know, monos or whatever um, of the Shadow Forges. And I just got two more of those from the quick, uh, the one day raid that they had. So hopefully I'll be crafting both of these and I'll have all five of them. As for the rest of these, it's just sort of like, it's not going to happen, you know? Like, I don't push top 10 enough. I'll have to get lucky in a chest uh, to get any of these other ones because it's, yeah, it's just not going to happen, guys. It's the Shadow Forges can be very unrealistic if you're not lucky. Uh, but with the raids, you know, you can get close. I'm getting close with the raids. I'm doing, doing what I can anyway. So uh, I'll show you guys in here really quickly the chest that I'm talking about. Uh, I believe it's this one here. Yeah, so every fifth one that you open gives you one of the shards. And I'm kind of worried that once this is run out, that'll be it. That'll be sort of it for the Erebus Warden. It won't be provided as a reward to any of the raids anymore. Which would sort of mess me up quite a bit. Like if I can't get it as a reward from raids, then I'm sort of done with that one and I won't be getting it. Which would be a shame. I would like to get the base five. I can't. I'm not. Like I can't justify spending the money just to get one armor even if i could get others from the chest i can't like i can't justify that in my budget <laughs> to um to pay for that sort of thing it's just yeah it's just not worth it to me uh what else is there to show you guys there isn't there isn't a whole lot besides that obviously we can go into our profile here we're gonna look at our arena i'm really slack with the arena i don't even participate in it most weeks i'm still in the oracle the guild's still looking strong if we go into the guild list here you'll see um a lot of Shadow Forges, a lot of Top End Dragon Forges, you know, like the the guild's looking really good. I'm really proud to be with these guys. Uh, I haven't gone top 3 yet, if any of you are wondering. I've only ever done top 10 still. I've never done a top 3 push. 62 out of 68 achievements. Got all these guys set up for my, like, hunting grounds and all those sort of things. But I think that's sort of it, guys. The new Epic Boss has just appeared. This isn't one of the... This isn't one of the good ones, this is just your average one, which actually means that what I'll do is I'm actually just going to kill it once. So I'll put on a good armor to fight it with. What was it? it? I'll just do Spirit Spirit, it's fine. It's not like it's a big deal. We'll just put these two on and uh, we'll just kill it once so I can get the free energy. So what I do with the regular bosses, I've missed. What I do with the regular bosses is I kill them once because you get a guaranteed 7 energy. So this means I will now have, is it 15 energy I'll have? 14 energy there we go so that means that next epic boss i'll get another seven and then another seven and another seven until the epic boss that has the uh the shadow forge pieces comes along then i'll push that one as far as i can to get all the um the epic jewels and the shadow forge pieces uh and then i'll go back to just saving them that's my strategy because i don't really care for the epic boss like i hadn't been doing it for months so uh that that's how i'm using the epic boss now but yeah, guys, I think that is all that I can really show you in the progress of the video. Obviously, I'm not using my gold. I'm not getting enough fusion boosts because I have 17 million gold now. Um, I guess I could drop that into one of the guilds uh, in the alliance that needs new gold. But yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to comment, uh, leave a like, and of course, you can subscribe for more Knights and Dragons content. That is the main account. I might show you guys it again maybe next month or the month after. We'll see. We'll see what I get up to. And when I deem it worthy of showing you guys something new, I will show you guys something new. But like always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.